مرحبا الكثير من المشاهدين طلبوا مني اسم التطبيق الذي أستخدمه في الترجمة اسم هذا التطبيق هو Simple Translate ويعمل مع جوجل كروم اكتبوا Simple Translate كروم في جوجل محرك البحث جوجل وانقروا على أول موقع أول نتيجة تأكدوا من أنه لجوجل كروم دوت جوجل دوت كوم سأضع رابط هذه هذا التطبيق أسفل الفيديو فلنبدأ في إكمال قصة أنيمال فارم لن أشرح كل شيء كالعادة فقط بعض الكلمات وبعض الملاحظات وسنعتمد على الترجمة الإلكترونية رغم أنها كثير من الأحيان تكون خاطئة أو تعطي ترجمة غير دقيقة خصوصا إذا كانت النصوص نصوصا أدبية كما هو الحال الآن Early in October when the corn was cut and stacked and some of it was already threshed a flight of pigeons came whirling through the air and alighted in the yard of animal farm in the wildest excitement drones and all his men with half a dozen others from foxwood and pinchfield had entered the five barred gate and were coming up the car track that led to the farm They were all carrying sticks, except Jones, who was marching ahead with a gun in his hands. Obviously, they were going to attempt the recapture of the farm. This had long been expected, and all preparations had been made. Snowball who had studied an old book of Julius Caesar's campaigns which he had found in the farmhouse was in charge of the defensive operations. He gave his orders quickly and in a couple of minutes every animal was at his post. As the human beings approached the farm buildings, Snowball lun- launched his first attack. All the pigeons, to the number of 35, flew to and fro over the men's heads and muted upon them from midair. And while the men were dealing with this, The geese, who had been hiding behind the hedge, rushed out and pecked viciously at the calves of their legs. However, this was only a light skirmishing maneuver intended to create a little disorder and the men easily drove the geese off with their sticks. Snowball now launched his second line of attack. Muriel, Benjamin and all the sheep, with Snowball at the head of them, rushed forward and prodded and butted the men from every side, while Benjamin turned around and lashed at them with his small hoofs. But once again the men, with their sticks and their hobnailed boots, were too strong for them. And suddenly A squeal from Snowball, which was the signal for retreat, 
all the animals turned and fled through the gateway into the yard. The man gave a shout of triumph. They saw, as they imagined, their enemies in flight, and they rushed after them in disorder. This was just what Snowball had intended. As soon as they were well inside the yard, the three horses, the three cows, and the rest of the pigs who had been lying in ambush in the cow shed suddenly emerged in their rear, cutting them off. Snowball now gave the signal for the charge. He himself dashed straight for Jones. Jones saw him coming, raised his gun and fired. The bullet or the pellets scored bloody strikes along Snowball's back and the sheep dropped dead. Without halting for an instant, Snowball flung his fifteen stone against Jones' legs. Jones was hurled into a pile of dung and his gun flew out of his hands. But the most terrifying spectacle of all was Boxer, rearing up on his hind legs and striking out with his great iron-shod hoofs like a stallion. His very first blow took a stable lad from Foxwood on the skull and stretched him lifeless in the mud. At the sight, several men dropped their sticks and tried to run. Panic overtook them, and the next moment all the animals together were chasing them round and round the yard. They were gored, kicked, bitten, trampled on. There was not an animal on the farm that did not take vengeance on them after his own fashion. Vengeance al-intiqam. Vengeance al-intiqam. Even the cat suddenly leaped off her roof onto a cowman's shoulders and sank her claws in his neck, at which he yelled horribly. At a moment when the opening was clear, the men were glad enough to rush out of the yard and make a bolt for the main road. Make a bolt for the main road, and yahrubun lettariq al-ra'isi, to make a bolt for yahrubu. And so within five minutes of their invasion, they were in ignominious retreat by the same way as they had come, with a flock of geese hissing after them and pecking at their calves all the way. Ignominious, ignominious retreat. Taraju'un Mukhzin, a Hurubun Mukhzin, in Sihab Mukhzin, ignominious retreat. Peck, peck, and yankur, geese albat, albat can a yankur, ala calves of the men. Calf huwa al juz al khalfi, li as saq, jamu calves. Tanika delica al ujul, the kinis al maksud huna al ujul. All the men were gone, except one. Back in the yard, Boxer was pawing with his hoof 
at the stable lad, who lay face down in the mud, trying to turn him over. The boy did not stir. He is dead, said Boxer sorrowfully. I had not I had no intention of doing that. I forgot that I was wearing iron shoes. Who will believe that I did not do this on purpose? No sentimentality, comrades, cried Snowball, from whose wounds the blood was still dripping. War is war. The only good human being is a dead one. وقال سنوبول لا عاطفة أيها الرفيق No sentimentality comrade وقال بأن الحرب هي الحرب War is war والإنسان الجيد الوحيد هو الإنسان الميت The only good human being is a dead one I have no wish I have no wish to take life Not even human life repeated the boxer, and his eyes were full of tears. Where is Molly? exclaimed somebody. Molly, in fact, was missing. For a moment there was great alarm. It was feared that the men might have harmed her in some way, or even carried her off with them. In the end, in the end, however, she was found hiding in her stall with her head buried among the hay in the man- manger. Manger هو المعلف الذي تأكل منه الحيوانات. She had taken to flight as soon as the gun went off and came back from looking for her it was to find that the stable lad who in fact was only stunned had already recovered and made off ليس سرق المقصود هنا بميد اوف يعني هرب فر had already recovered تعافى and made of harabawafar. The animals had now reassembled in the wildest excitement, each recounting his own exploits in the battle at the top of his voice. Exploits tani al ma'athir, yani kul hayawan kana yaqussu wa yarwi ma'athirah wa al af'al butuliya lati kana yaf'aluha fi al ma'raka, battle, battle al ma'raka. An impromptu celebration of the victory was held immediately. The flag was run up and beasts of England was sung a number of times. Then the sheep who had been killed was given a solemn funeral, a hawthorn bush being planted on her grave. And the Uqimat Janazatun Mahiba, solemn, solemn funeral, solemn funeral, Latun Tako in, Kul, solemn funeral. Uqimat had he al Janaza, li al Haruf, sheep, sheep, and Naja. التي قتلت وزرعت شجرة أو شجيرة هوثورن بوش شجيرة الزعرور planted on her grave زرعت على قبرها at the graveside snowball made a little speech emphasizing the need for all animals to be ready to die for animal farm if need be وألقى سنوبول خطابا قصيرا عند القبر شدد فيه على الحاجة أو ضرورة استعداد الحيوانات كلهم للموت من أجل مزرعة الحيوانات إذا لزم الأمر At the graveside Snowball made a little speech emphasizing the need for all animals to be ready to die for 
animal farm if need be. The animals decided unanimously to create a military decoration, Animal Hero First Class, which was conferred there and then on Snowball and Boxer. هنا المقصود ب decoration ليس هو الزخرفة كما قمس كم تعني كذلك زخرفة لكن المقصود هنا وسام وسام عسكري فقد قرر الحيوانات كلهم unanimously بالإجماع unanimously to create a military decoration وسام عسكري سمي ب animal hero first class والذي تم منحه ل snowball و boxer that was conferred there and then هناك وفي ذاك الوقت on Snowball and Boxer it consisted of a brass medal they were really some old hearse brasses which had been found in the harness room Avon, uh, it consisted of a brass medal they were really some old horse brasses which had been found in the harness room to be worn on Sundays and holidays. There was also Animal Hero Second Class. وكان هناك أيضا وسام آخر يسمى Animal Hero Second Class الرتبة الثانية أو الدرجة الثانية which was conferred posthumously on the dead sheep والذي تم منحه للخروف بعد موته posthumously posthumously تعني بعد الوفاة بعد الموت posthumously There was much discussion as to what the battle should be called. In the end, it was named the Battle of the Cowshed. The Battle of the Cowshed. Cowshed هي حضرة البقر. Since that was where the ambush had been sprung. حيث في ذلك المكان تم نصب الكمين ambush. Mr. Jones' gun had been found lying in the mud, and it was known that there was a supply of cartridges in the farmhouse. It was decided to set the gun up at the foot of the flagstaff, like a piece of artery, and to fire it twice a year, once on October the 12th, the anniversary of the Battle of the Cowshed, and once on Midsummer Day, the anniversary of the rebellion. <laughs>